More and more countries of the world are beginning to use alternative energy sources, including solar. As a result, modest rooftop panels are being replaced by solar farms spread over vast areas. The largest solar power plant in the world, Ben Ben Solar Park, is located in Egypt, covers an area of 37 square kilometers, and generates a capacity of 1,650 megawatts. In third place is Shakti Sthala, located in the city of Pavagada in India. Its area is 50 square kilometers and has a capacity of about 2,000 megawatts. The second is the Chinese Hainan Solar Park. It consists of 672 photovoltaic arrays and produces 2,200 megawatts. What is the largest solar power plant in the world and how is it arranged? Watch our video. The harsh midday sun illuminates a small dusty village in Gujarat, western India. Lines of blue solar panels on steel substructures rise to the horizon. Panels cover the top of the irrigation canals, sparkling like iridescent mirrors. This small village of 40 thatch-walled, tin-roofed houses with clumsy cows that go around was one of the many rural communities in India that had no electricity until recently. But now a lamp is lit in every house so that the children can study in the evening and the farmers can milk the cows long after sunset. Until recently, India, being one of the largest consumers of coal in the world, could not provide its entire population with electricity. At the same time, due to emissions from power plants, the environmental situation in some regions has deteriorated significantly. The problem urgently needed a solution, and in 2017, India overtook Japan to become the third largest supplier of solar energy after China and the United States. This breakthrough was fueled by declining prices for solar panels and government energy programs. However, several problems stand in the way of ambitious projects. The first and foremost is, most definitely, the land. Buying land in India where the population density is 464 people per square kilometer involves a lot of formalities. The land here is expensive enough and often has many owners. In addition, local farmers are not eager to lose their earnings by selling their plots to the government. To get around this obstacle, a rental program was offered to local residents. According to it, it has become more profitable to lease a plot to the state and receive regular payments than to engage in agriculture. But as the country moves to green energy, it becomes necessary to modernize existing energy complexes. And solar energy has a big drawback. Electricity is generated only in sunny weather. Also, to eliminate fossil fuels altogether, you need to find inexpensive ways to store energy. But since the number of sunny days per year in India reaches almost 300, this country has some of the best conditions in the world for capturing and using the sun's rays. Installed capacity in India has grown by about 10 times to 32 gigawatts over the past five years, and the government hopes to triple this figure in the coming years. The country is setting ambitious targets, notably to ensure the production of 450 gigawatts of wind and solar power by 2030. From all indications, India will be able to fulfill the task. There are now 43 photovoltaic power plants operating in the country, capable of generating power above 10 megawatts. Built in 2020 in the Jodhpur region of India, Badla Solar Park has become the largest solar park in the world. The plant was built in several stages. The first stage was completed in 2016. It took eight months to implement it. The capacity of the solar park was then about 550 megawatts. The number of solar panels was constantly increasing, intensifying the capacity of the park by half a gigawatt per year. The main obstacle at the first level to achieving production goals was the incessant sand dunes with a windward side of 15 to 20 degrees and a constantly crumbling leeward side common to the area. Planting the mounting structures for the modules in such a landscape was an extremely challenging task, requiring careful creative design and specific operating skills. It should also be noted that extreme heat is one of the prominent features of the Rajasthan state. This region is considered to be almost uninhabitable due to its tropical climate. Average temperatures in Badla range from 46 to 48 degrees Celsius, with frequent hot winds and sandstorms. The nearest housing is the village of Bap, located about 50 kilometers from the station, and the nearest urban area called Palodi is 80 kilometers away. 
This greatly complicates the operation of the station, specifically the maintenance of solar panels. But despite all this in 2020, the nominal capacity of the Badla power plant was 2,245 megawatts, and it confidently took the first line in the world ranking. The area of this solar electric park is impressive, 57 square kilometers. While 2,000 megawatts of power are enough to power 700,000 homes, virtually all of the electricity generated here is not used in the area. It goes to neighboring regions in India where there is an energy shortage. Badla is an important economic project for Rajasthan, as most of the inhabitants of the coastal villages work on the power plant. By 2022, India aims to provide electricity to 60 million households via the production of 100 gigawatts of solar energy. Most likely in a few years, the Badla Solar Park will have to give up world leadership. In December 2020, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the start of a new project. India's state-owned energy company has received approval from the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy to build a 4,075 megawatt solar park in Gujarat. The solar power plant will be located in the Thar Desert. It will become part of the hybrid renewable energy park with a total capacity of 30,000 megawatts. This means that the inhabitants of the country will have access to a comfortable modern life and the economy will be a stable and cheap resource. The country's authorities have already developed serious measures to develop the economy and revitalize industry. The plans include a large-scale modernization of the internal infrastructure, roads, ports, airports, the growth of the construction and automotive industries, an increase in the production of household appliances, and housing construction, especially in rural areas. The implementation of these plans will undoubtedly raise the average standard of living of ordinary citizens and provide them with basic comfortable conditions. The opportunity to study at any time of the day, the smooth operation of small farms and enterprises, the availability of technical devices in everyday life and at the workplace. In a nutshell, all the benefits which residents of developed countries do not need to worry about. How many years do you think it will take for the world to fully switch to renewable energy sources? Please write in the comments.